Louise, thank you so much for the time to discuss the film with uh, Irina's Val, uh, Irina's Val. Uh, it's such a beautiful film. I really appreciate the time to chat with you about it. Thank you so much. Um, it, it really is an amazing story and it, it you've told it so beautifully. Uh, I was wondering what attracted you to, uh, to Irina? Well, um, I guess Irena got attracted to me first <laughs> because I got, you know, they proposed me the producers and the screenwriter. Then Gordon did propose me the script to direct. So that's, you know, and when I read the script, I was like, wow, what an amazing story. I didn't know about that her at all. And if that script had been a fiction, only a fiction, I would have refused it because it's so bold, you know, it's so amazing what's happening there that, you know, she did hide some people in a basement, you know, where there's a SS major living upstairs. It's like, who will buy that, you know? Mm -hmm. And, but that's the truth. So, and, and then I, I was, I felt in love with, with that character, you know, and there's something, I was like, okay, there's something so relevant and we want to to tell that story still today in 2024. And it's um, another angle that, that I think we uh, we saw less, you know, from a film from the Holocaust or World War II, is like from that angle of that young Catholic woman, Polish woman, who was becoming, she wanted to become a uh, nurse, but she, she became a forced labor and forced labor, you know, Polish forced labor, we didn't seem that much this, this angle. So I was attracted to that as well. And, you know, Dan Gordon, since he, uh, he became friends with Irina at the end of her life, it's an homage to her, you know, it's his point of view and all the stories she, she told him throughout the years. And it became that, you know, so I think it's quite beautiful. It's, it, it absolutely is. And it's, it's such a remarkable story. I like that you say that you, you would have refused if it was, if it was fiction, because that's what really resonates with this film is the truth behind it. And um, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the visual style of the film, because I think it's very interesting. It's we, you know, we are in a war film that is not graphic and certainly not exploitative, yet very honest with its depiction. And there aren't grand battle scenes. We keep it very intimately. I was wondering, in your mind, why was that so important? Well, two things. First, you have to think $5 million, 29 days of shooting. Right. Uh, <laughs> and at some point, you have to film 12 actors in a basement with dust and everything that's one thing so yeah there's it's a huge the challenge to make that film a uh, period piece you know the great great uh, uh chance we had is to shoot in poland those locations so that helped a lot and to have a polish crew that knows so much they know so much about the story and what were to story that they they put the real stuff on screen, you know, uh, and for for same for costume. You know, when you put your actors in that, they, they there's something that's hap that happens right out the top, you know. Uh, as for the the you know the lighting and mise en scène, well, I was stuck with time, but I I tried to, I did put my energy on human behavior on characters and how to depict all those characters and nuance them and and make it um th that we go we 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 are with them in that situation the other thing is it's uh i guess a rare film where you have uh, for sure it's uh you, you have horror uh you have um stress it's stressful uh but you have as well uh love Mm. hope and light and for that period it's quite rare so I wanted to have something that that brings hope and I think 
And we started to shoot. It was the beginning of war in Ukraine. And we shot just next to, you know, as the first week we were just next to the border. So it was like quite troubling. And we were like with the DP, Paul Sarosi, we wanted to give that, you know. So there's a lot of natural light as well. But we had the luxury to have wonderful windows when we played with that. Uh, but to have that, you know, it's just like a breathing towards that hope. That's different because we have so many scenes uh, in a basement as well and, and locked there. And we were really locked, you know, the, the, the you know, art director and the production designer, they went all in, you know, they did, they found in that villa authentic bricks. They did build <laughs> a tunnel. Uh, and we, they did put dust in that basement. So we were, it was stuffy. We were like, I, I did, you know, I had in my nose so much, so much dirt for like 10 days. That was crazy, but it, we were there, you know? And so, but the hope is like through only candles. So it was like, how can we, you know, uh, uh there's a crack in everything that's how the light gets in so we wanted to get that you know it's it has such a grounded visuals to it it's it's really and but you mentioned something there that i thought was very interesting is it, shooting in poland i mean this is now a time in our in our history which i mean we're not a, we, we weren't around for many many you know the the number of people that were there but you're stepping into a place that is deeply rooted in this history. And I was wondering for you personally, what sort of impact that had on you? Because like you said, you're trying to create things authentically. Uh, you want it to, to look and feel authentic. But here you are, and it, and it really happened in these spaces. What was that like? Uh, goosebumps um i asked the question that to my second ad at some point because it was there was COVID time as well yeah. and it was like you know how do we deal with COVID? and she was like well you know it's gonna be fine and so it's, it's gonna be like the flu and and it's like and how do you feel about war and and she was very um shy and she just lowered her eyes and then she opened it and then you know there were tears and she was like that and we're afraid but they're very proactive, you know, they're used to it. And it all, you know, it did happen before, you know, and she was like 21, nine years old, but, you know, grandparents and stuff. And, yeah. and, but that, um, it's like, we have to move, we have to, um, to face, face it. We have to extend a hand, but what the experience was like, more than, because we, we, Physically, we were, we saw, you know, refugees, women, the, the cliche of women, children, uh, uh, luggages. We saw that. Uh, we saw spaces with so so many like boxes for food and stuff for, to help them. It, it was um, um, people, you know, uh, uh, the military, you know, U.S., Canadian. We saw so many in Poland, you know, that like every day we were... Um, uh, reminded that war was going on next door. Mm. Um, uh, we had, I didn't know, they didn't tell me, but after two weeks, I was like, oh, what's that van, you know, on the set, you know, and those big guys. It's like, oh, that's for you Canadians, you know, with the, we were a couple of Canadians. If some things happen, we're connected to the border. Uh, we take you and you, we bring you back, you know, so because, because of insurance and shooting. And, and so it was like, okay, it, it's it's that, and that's it's nothing. Imagine them the other side, mm. <laughs> and 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 that's one thing. Uh, the impact, I don't know. It's 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 it, it's you know when you say reality meets fiction, but it's beyond that. For us, it's it's in, it's nothing. We're doing a fiction, but the only. Uh, a medium I have now and it's the only way to say you plant a seed to um, understand behaviors uh, to to bring up that woman who was just like extending a hand and 
herself being a forced laborer, just, just like, I just want to help others. I just want to try to be less judgmental and whatever the side, you know, it's like, but condemn acts for sure. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's to sh be shaky and try to, um, yeah, to tr just try to open up would be huge uh, already, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, honestly, it's it's such an incredible film, and to to be there and see it must have added so much to your experience of of helping bring Irena's story to life. Um, and I I wonder for you. I know we're we're running out of time, but what what in your mind? What do you hope viewers today can take away from Irena's journey? Hmm. Um, whatever, you know, what, what, whatever the situation, it could be in a relationship, it can be, uh, in a big, bigger, uh, situation, uh, in society it could be environment. If you say to yourself, oh, you know, if I do this gesture or one, one thing, just me won't be, make a difference. Well, no, maybe one gesture or mm. just open up, talk to someone. Just one thing can uh, become a huge difference to someone else, to a group, to yourself. Because then again, it's like you, you create links, you, you become stronger, you become united. And that's how I see it. I really appreciate that. Honestly, Louise, the, the film is beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And I wish you the best. Have a great day. Watch you too. Bye. Bye-bye.